So in this example, uh, we're gonna take a look at touch action uh, class in Appium. So basically, if if I uh, go to this particular uh, Java document, uh, we we have already discussed about this uh, touch action. So there is a class over here uh, in which uh, we have seen uh, in our previous example how we can swipe an element, right? So there is one more method that we're going to take a look that is a tap, right? How we can tap on an element tap as in uh, if I show you my real device. So what I've done, I have connected my real device uh, through team viewer this time, right? Because uh, cameras, real cameras are sometimes shaky, right? So uh, over here the view is pretty much clear although uh, there is some lag in between when i uh, scroll uh, on my real device when i move uh, the screen on my real device there is a bit lag but it's not that much i mean right so uh, what i'm gonna do i go to uh, whatsapp right and my test would be uh, to let's say i want to search uh, for some text over here and then on this text I want to tap tap as in uh, just pressing the finger once right so I'm gonna tap on it and I'll type something uh, what I'll do I'll actually show you uh, what I'm gonna do I'll run this code and you should be able to see what all it will gonna do so if I run this and if I bring my device back over here so you're gonna see this uh, brings up WhatsApp and it searches for way to automation and then it tapped over here. It, it did it really fast and then it typed something, has gone to the camera, taken the snapshot. Okay, over there it's uh, due to the lag, it's being hanged. But see, it has captured the image and then it has sent the image to WhatsApp, right? And if we take a look over here, uh, it has actually captured the screenshot as well of that image. If I go back to my project, if I refresh it, then in the pix folder, you'll see a screenshot of the image as well. So this is the image that got captured, right? So now let's see how we're gonna code uh, the entire functionality and uh, let's go back to Eclipse and start writing the code for it.